So last year, as you know, I did a, a full on film my run production of the Ark of Attrition 2017. Uh, finished in 29 hours and 50 minutes, just scraped in to get that gold buckle. And uh, I thought, given the fact that I was filming last year and it was the first time I'd done the race, so I made quite a few navigational errors, I reckoned I could take a couple of hours off my time. So we went back 2018 and did the Ark of Attrition again, this time with my buddy Richard. And here is the kind of little vlog that we made um, of that race. I gave the camera to my daughter, my eight-year-old daughter Elsa, and just asked her to film whenever she could be bothered, really, amongst playing um, and doing all the other things that eight-year-olds do. Uh, so this is her, this is her blog of of my 2018 Arc of Attrition race. Bear with us. For those who don't know, the Arc of Attrition headquarters is was in Porth Town, which is a village on the north coast of Cornwall. Um, it's where you meet for registration, it's where you get your um, tracker, it's where race briefing is held, and it's where you get the bus, which takes you the hour journey to the start line on the south coast of Cornwall in Covrack. I wouldn't ask me to film, I'm end up filming with my face. I have to hold it up so that people can see. Down. Can, can you see? see? Look. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. So here we are, walking to the buses. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's nice now, nice and sun's out. It's warm, when you're out the wind. Arc of Attrition 2018, and uh, we're just getting on the buses. And we're very nervous, but it's sunny, even though it's well, going to rain. I'm not nervous, because I don't know what to expect. It's going to be nice and sunny today and rainy and horrible over tomorrow. Tonight's going to be all right, I think, though. No? Yep, apparently so. This is Porth Town. This is where we finish tomorrow. Come down that big hill there, look. Where do we come down? Um, well, you could, we'll, we'll come down that road. Come down this road and then round. Not you can much. you can come down that. So my family made their way straight down to the first meeting point, which was at Lizard Point. So they didn't see us start, so there's no film of us starting. So assume that we started at midday at Coverack and we ran 10 miles-ish to the first meeting point at Lizard. That's about 11 and a bit, 11 and a half miles, that is. Thank you. It's a bit slow. Muddy and more mild, like the more diversions. Vic, can I have some Red Bull in this? Uh... Is that Red Bull? Thanks, sorry. No, I haven't touched the water. Yeah, it's a lot slower going than expected. Okay. Has Danny been through already? Yeah. 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 It's quite a few. We've been through. Yeah. yeah, no, we're miles Mommy. behind what we hoped for. But Hello. I tell you what, it's scary Just looking. Going, yeah, scary looking at Ellis because that's a sheer yeah. drop there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. taking longer than expected. Yeah, she's quite muddy. Right. Ashley, can you, think, can you give me that back if I need it? Hi, Daddy. Yeah. Hiya. The next meeting point was at Mullion Cove. Um, you can see here, if you notice, my crew, my wife, is showing me bits of paper. What's written on those bits of paper is information about what's coming up next. So how far it is to the next checkpoint, um, what the next checkpoint is, and also anything that I need to look out for. So navigational bits of information. So she'll have written down something like, be careful not to go onto the beach here, or make sure you remember the right turn at such and such, things like that. Just important little bits of information that helped me um, and Richard 
on our journey to the next checkpoint. checkpoint at around about 25 28 miles something like that 29 miles even and um, was at Porth Leven and last year it was in a different location the checkpoint so this year the idea was to have um, volunteers called valets to meet you at a certain point and run you in to the checkpoint so that you didn't have to waste loads of time uh, trying to find the place Place to where you the... No, no, I'll just shove a couple of smoothies down. Wait, is this the third aid station, Daddy? Mm. Yeah. This is Port Leven. We've had lots of diversions. It's been really difficult and really muddy. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm over half an hour later than I was last year. And these are his shoes. Nine, nine, nine miles to, per, to the next one. Yeah. Okay, and that's at 34 nice. miles. <laughs> well, no, it'd be more than that, but... Right, okay. I... Meeting point four for my crew was at uh, Perinuthno, which is supposed to be about 34 miles into the race. It was probably about 38 miles into the race. Um, and, and it was... Well, I mean, before this, but certainly here, we really started to realise how far behind time we were. Uh, because of the mud, because of the various diversions on the coast path, because the coast path had fallen into the sea in various places, we just had to go round. Um, there was significant extra mileage, and we were really understanding how much more mileage there was and how far behind we were. And not just from our ideal time, but from... <laughs> the time I was doing last year, when I was significantly less fit. Do not go on the beach. They said, they said it's three miles of traffic when they go into more like roads. Okay. What is, what? Which side you're water. Water. You don't hurry up to. Water that side. Exactly. Yeah. Just so you could exactly say, if you don't hurry up, you're going to get bored, so I'm going to film along. Hello. Uh, <laughs> this is, this is Perinuth now. Um, we've travelled, um, well, we've got sixty. We've got sixty-six point seven miles to go, and it's very and it's dark. Half past eight in the morning. No, half past eight at, <laughs> na half past eight at night. And you're late, it's pitch black. What, I thought we got here at half past eight last year. No, I don't think so. Okay. Tanya seemed to think you were going to be here about eight. Is it eight on the? Oh, no, oh yeah, no, eight. That Mommy? Was eight, if we were going unbelievably well. Mummy. We all have, let's have a family fun. No, last year, Stephen, you got here at quarter to eight last year. You are kidding. No. Quarter to eight we got here last, last year. Last year. How many yeah. more miles have you done? 45 Jeez. minutes slower now. Jesus. You're, 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 you've come back to get that silver buckle, haven't you? You, Stephen, each time <laughs> I see you, you're losing time. Yeah. It's crazy. Else, but, but in general, everyone's slower. The leader's Thank half an hour slower, I think, yeah. <laughs> with all the mud. Alley's behind no, I don't you. It. Behind me? He came in after you'd left. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it was actually nine miles know. from where we last saw you. Well, Daddy, yeah. are you thirsty? I told you 33, and then you said, oh, yeah, no, it's because are you we've thirsty? Already done the, more the, miles. the mileage is wrong because we've already done more miles with the extra. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. 40. You don't need to touch that, darling. You just you just hold it like that. Yeah, 45 minutes <clears> behind last year. It's ridiculous. Okay. No, it's madness, isn't it? Yeah, keep going. I mean, I feel fine, but it's just... I think it's muddy as well. It's just it? It is the mud in the dark. You've got to go over there? Yeah. See you in 10 seconds then. Bye. So it was at this point that my daughter kind of fell asleep in the back of the car and didn't really film anything else until well into the next day. So there is no film overnight. I mean, it would have been pretty dark anyway, so you wouldn't have seen much. Um, and so just to tell you, we passed um, checkpoint two, which was at Penzance, um, and then moved on uh, through the wilderness, the dark, the rain and the mud, 
and significant elevation to Lamorna Cove, which was at 46 miles officially, 50 miles in reality probably. Uh, the next meeting point was at Porth Kerno at Minak Theatre. Minak Theatre, absolutely gorgeous location in the daylight. Don't see a thing at night. Uh, that's at around 52 miles officially. Again, it was more like 56, 57 miles. The next official checkpoint was Land's End. Uh, that was at 58 miles officially, but 62, 63 miles in reality. We stopped there, we had a good while there, um, just looking at our feet, eating food, uh, making sure we were all right, because the next section is really the toughest section of the whole race. From Land's End onto Cape Cornwall and then Pendine Watch Lighthouse. Pendine Watch Lighthouse was where our crew got lost. Even though they made it there last year perfectly all right, uh, Victoria managed to park in the wrong car park. So we arrived at Pendine Watch um, with no crew there in the, the pouring rain, uh, the, the icy wind blasting us as well. And we had to wait there for five or ten minutes for our crew to get there. Um, but they did and uh, I changed socks there I think and my wife looked after my feet. And then it was the very difficult 15 mile section from Pendine to St Ives with no crew stops. Um, and very difficult going underfoot, really slow going in the mud, really boggy or rocky, lots of um, boulder climbing, um, elevation, just knee deep in mud sometimes, so it's very difficult to get running. But we did quite well in that section, we made it to St Ives and we managed to catch up all the time that we'd lost from last year and we were now ahead of time, so that was good. So the next point you see is, is after the Dunes of Doom, so you go from St Ives to Hale, and then from Hale um, there's a, a sand dune section, uh, which is really annoying, um, and then you get to a place called Gwythian, Godrevy Cafe, and that's this point here. Because it was sand dunes and we Hi were going guys. left and right, backwards yeah. and forwards, right. up and down. Hi guys. If we'd gone on we're the beach like I wanted to My dad's doing a race, if you want to see. So we're at now, um, we, we've got 11 miles to go, we have done, let me tell you, we've done 97 and a half miles. So this is going to be at least nine, uh, 107 miles, this race. Go on YouTube, go. This is Gwythian, by the way. Come on, Vic, Rich. So out of Gwythian and it's up to one final stop at uh, Portreath and from Portreath it's up the hill, four miles and all the way home and here we are finishing the race captured by Christian from No Limits Photography, thanks for that Christian. And that was our 2018 Arc of Attrition race. We finished in 29 hours and around about 10, 13, 15 minutes. Nobody's quite sure, nobody really cares. Um, we came in about 22nd, 23rd place. Uh, second gold buckle for me, first one for Richard. And uh, we will be back again in 2019. And we'll see if the weather conditions are any better. We will try and train well and see if we can get anywhere near that black buckle for 24 hours. It, that would be really amazing if we could do that. But realistically, 26 hours maybe, we can try. So that's it, Arg of Attrition 2018, done and dusted, see you for the next one, take care, bye.